It's here. What's here? Oh, <gasps> Daddy's new solution is here. That is right, kids. Huh? Can you pick this up? Here, I'll hold the. I'll hold your magic bubble wand. Oh, good job, Tully. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So I've had a storage problem on my motorcycle for quite some time and I will not buy an aluminum top box. I refuse it. I refuse. I refuse. Oh, that's very cute. So I'm thinking this might be the answer. This is the Front Runner Wolf Pack. You see anything in there? No, there's nothing in there. So my thought is to put this thing on the back of my motorcycle. I, I don't know anything about Front Runner other than a bunch of my friends think these guys are really good people, like a good company. So I was stoked to support them and buy this product. And uh, we'll see if it's any good. We'll put it right here, how's that? It's like it can go perfect. Mm -hmm. He's perfect right there, huh? So along with this box, I got this. Oh. This is the larger lid for the wolf pack. The first one was the, the first one it came with. This sticks on here. Gives me a little bit more room if I need it in this pack. Oh, she's just so pretty. So this is what we're dealing with right now. And this thing is, it, it's, I have to strap it down and then like every once in a while, like these things fail and it, it does, you know, this flap over kind of thing because every, let me move this camping bag <clears throat> because everything has just been zip tied down because I knew I didn't want to keep this here. I do like it, but I don't want to waste a really expensive Pelican case that I travel with all the time, just leaving it on the motorcycle. So. We're gonna try out this wolf pack, see if it works. I hope it works or I'm not gonna have a video to make. But let's see if we can't uh, figure out how to strap this thing on. Let's go. Boom. So, massive change of plans. I went to Home Depot to pick up a whole bunch of stuff, like bolts and stuff like that. And I got this thing right here. So I got a rigid toolbox that clamps together and has a stacking function on it. It has these that I can strap things down with and it's totally waterproof. So guess what? I am going to try this out and probably send back those front runner boxes I just bought on Amazon. All right, I like the look of this. I'm liking this system. So underneath here, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'll pull this off here so you can see, but I'm gonna make a bar that goes between here and then bolt, bolt, up in and then I've got two little U cables that'll come up from there so it'll have multiple mounting points. I got these things right here which is what I went to Home Depot to buy in the first place but then I saw this cool rigid Pro Gear System Gen 2 and I liked the size of it. Uh, the Milwaukee stuff, all the DeWalt, so all that stuff, that was cool too. Don't get me wrong but I, I just liked that one. So I just cut from this piece of one inch by quarter inch steel. Um, is that hot? That's hot. Woo, woo. I cut this piece off, drilled this hole here. Now I'm going to switch the sides, drill another hole right now, and then uh, uh, get this thing going. So, got these drilled out, 
got this piece cut even though it's it's not perfect but it'll work that'll go here and then i've got the u-bolt holes i gotta drill in right there now and then we're gonna get this thing mounted up i am i left my silicone at i took it to the spear shop today because i'm working on this crazy spear gun and i needed it for that spear gun but i am going to put some silicone around those bolts because this thing is in the rain all the time i'm probably going to be in the rain tomorrow because i just got a new pair of the continentals here cleaned up my garage today look good a little bit better a little bit better yeah but uh got to get the continentals put on tomorrow at earth Seaver bmw because i'm going on another trip and my tires are toast so front tires got a fix in it and rear tires pretty much bald um it's been doing a lot of off-roading so doing that tomorrow and it's raining right now so got to get some silicone on that well here we go it looks so good you can't really see it in this light probably but maybe a little bit got all my stuff put in there right now got this nice little organization tray here for accoutrements and such and uh, plenty of room in the bottom uh, it's kind of funny because so, pop this up, right? If I want to, I'm thinking I might mount this one as my kind of everyday top tray. I'm thinking I might mount this as my everyday top tray. And then use this one as like a camping storage when I'm going on long rides. But basically the way this whole system works is there it is there and then you take these and you both pop them in like that and then they're on there now I'm not going off-roading with just that <laughs> um, but it's got plenty of tie down points in here I mean this is just really a, a killer system I would probably run rock straps from here down uh, if I was doing a long ride with this taller box, but I don't know, man. I'm digging this, dudes. I'm digging this a lot. I mean, this is awesome. This is a little too tall, but I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with some kind of quick release system where I can maybe like day to day ride around with this smaller one here because this would hold everything I need on basically a daily basis. But every once in a while it's nice and this doesn't this size doesn't bother me with just these on here like this like that's not bugging me at all as a as a day-to-day -day. um so i don't know i'm digging it i'm digging it i'm digging it here it is kids boom rhino lining turned out so good and I've got everything siliconed up and even painted this little bracket. I probably should have painted these too, but I'm, I'm thinking if this is gonna stay, stay, I'll probably build a whole different mounting system here. So yeah, uh, but there it is right there. And then if I want to, I can grab the smaller one here throw it up here and just go dunk dunk and it's strapped up so not a horrible setup I don't hate it I'm gonna do a little 550 paracord and a bunch of it here my buddy Noner gave me I'm gonna do a little wrap around this handle right here and uh, cuz you know hashtag paracord this is holding up the rigid toolbox is definitely getting the job done today and uh got i did a little paracord tie byron approved of this you approved of the paracord tie paracord tie was solid yeah solid. paracord tie was solid and uh i can still stack it goes down far enough to stack we got king just doesn't want to get in the car here do you king 
He's a big a... slobber monster. Yeah, he's a... All right, guys. So about 400 miles in, 30 plus miles of off-road use. This thing is holding up great, 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 great. I'm just, I'm just so happy with this whole setup. Uh, you can see under here how we have it mounted. The mounting is just totally hold, held up. I actually took a hose and sprayed a bunch of water uh, at the thing just to see if it would, no leaking whatsoever. So the way I have it set up currently, now the top box, I haven't used this little top section yet. I was actually just now messing around with it. But here is the whole setup right now as it goes. So in here, I have Allen wrenches, tire pressure gauge, my tire fixing kit, a bolt lock for this, a checkbook, flashlight, little my old, old Gerber multi-tool, and then kind of a whole stack of bolts here because I've been losing bolts, then all my uh, paperwork, registration, and all that kind of stuff. As you get down in here, uh, I'm keeping caffeine, <laughs> um, my kind of my survival kit. I'll go through this one of these days, make a video about it. Um, this is just a little soul uh, medical setup. Some wet wipes, dead downwind. I have my new 100% goggles. These things on my, these things on my motor landing trip were amazing what a fantastic goggle cool little gold there a little gold hit uh, i've got the bdr map because <laughs> this has actually a lot of southern california but i plan on doing the california south bdr soon so i've been studying this map uh extra phone charger my off-road riding gloves for now i've got this muck off um it's kind of a, a kit to clean windshields, uh, goggles. This is my headlamp, little black diamond headlamp. I've got my little, uh, you guys have seen this before. This is my little lantern right here. Kind of folds up. I've got some Ranger Ready bug spray. All this stuff's in my Amazon store. And then I have my little Nemo mat right here, um, which is just kind of keeping things a little softer. And then some more Sody Pop. So. That's what's in this so far. I'm definitely planning on keeping it configured just like this right here. This is gonna be the everyday setup. A uh, little better look at the little chintzy paracord wrap I got. But this is how I'm gonna rock this every day. This thing's just gonna stay on here. I'm ridiculously happy with it. And uh, cost me a grand total of about 35 bucks. So a lot different than the BMW top box. I know the top box is great. It's got the laser etch ninja, it's aluminum and water. Like, it's an awesome top box. If I had one, I wouldn't have built this. I would just use that. And I might still end up buying one because talking about taking my wife to Sturgis on this bike. So, you know, maybe in the future that will be the deal. But for now, this is an awesome option. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. A lot of this stuff is in my Amazon store. All proceeds go to Samaritan's Purse. Please consider liking and subscribing the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless. See you on the next one. Boom.